This is to supplement a video which I have just created in respect to Mr. Rowan Atkinson, Mr. Bean. Uh, as a matter of fact, a video which I have dedicated to the British Royals, British, this hall, on how they do the genocide now, these days, how that stuff is being done. My case started, it's a really short video I'm going to post. It's going to be posted right here on the same page to be used as an MKR proof exactly how British genocide looks like, looks in a modern age. What that basically, how that stuff is being done, yeah? what British genocide is, what it looks like, how it is done today. Yes, I will post the link below this. And then shortly, well, not really. I was going to say I will with delete one, uh, but not really. It's going to stay on here because I think it's worth it uh, for me to submit more proofs about this genocide against me, which British engaged for no less than 33 years together with Russians and Americans. That's a whole big uh, country that I mentioned, haven't I, right now? Okay. You see this here? This is the movie, and that's why I am going to go ahead and I'm going to update the video in which I have wrongfully stated that people compared. This is very, very important video for me. Maybe the most important video yet so far. This is probably the most very short video, but the most important video in list of crime against me, this is probably the most important video of them all, you know. Um, I've stated how it was the Schindler's List, this video here, did you see? Schindler's List, that it was the video, uh, the movie, uh, that the case of my grandfather was compared to the Schindler's List. This is it says here 1993 that it was released. And I stated for Rowan Atkinson to be involved since 1995. No, this bullshit. It's not true. Entire Hollywood was involved since 1990. I was mistaken. I was wrong. It's that worse. It was much worse. Actually, the one who made me a neo-Nazi during MKUltra, Believe it or not, I hate to say it, I can't say that, but it really was Israeli state. It was the state of the Israel, the one who made me a neo-Nazi. The idea for the Schindler's List came from the story about my grandfather. When they learned about a story about my grandfather, British decided that it's so impressive that it needs to be tricked, lied about, misrepresented through the issues, through by using the people that engaged in a genocide against me the most for the sake of the Russia, for the sake of the greater Serbian Chetnik state, known as Yugoslavia. And that was none other than Israelitis. Israelis, Israel. State of the Israel was the one who committed the biggest atrocity against me. It was a time during MK Ultra, before 1993, when I solely would side with the national resistance, when I solely would defend values of national resistance against neo-Nazi Germany and fascist Italy, Rim, Berlin, Tokyo, axis of evil. It was time like this. It was time like this. But it turned out that 
Russians and Serbs had a bigger, much, much greater stake in a national resistance against the neo-Nazi journey. They, they were worried, in other words, in the views of MK Ultra, through my eyes, as more deserved, as better people, as the legitimate one. So, in other words, the British and Americans and Russians, actually Russians and Serbs, had used Americans and British to push me away completely push me completely away from the shoreline about knowing anymore for who the fuck I was, who I was. They needed me to turn against them. They needed me for the neo-Nazi agenda. So this basically is not how I turned to a Nazism for salvation. It was the final blow that I got from the Israelis, from the Israeli state from the people who eventually went ahead and filmed the Schindler's List, which was inspired from the story from my grandfather. All the actors, producers, were involved in MKUltra beginning the 1990. That's why I said this is probably the most best video so far, the best criminal evidence I'm submitting today that I have video recorded. Entire crime against me rested on a soul of the Israel, of the Israelis, of those who claimed genocide during the World War II. They went ahead and they screwed me up even more in my head during MKUltra. By taking the story of my grandfather to the next level, accredited somebody else completely away, pushed me away from me and have done absolutely everything possible to alienate me as much as possible from a national resistance, from Slovenian Liberation Front, which part was my grandfather and my grandmother. My grandfather, was a single father uh, to my father and to my aunt. And my grandma was a single mom to many kids, of which one actually was killed in action during the war fighting Germans. The medals are stolen from my grandfather, just as I have described in the video. This year, this is maybe a document I'm going to use below. I'm going to post one. My grandmother's name is Neha Strauss. She was enrolled in a national liberation from that would be nothing short of immediate death between 1942 to 1945 straight as a partisan i'm going to post you this document below did you see so the biggest crime of them all lays on hands the blood in this case hands lays on hands of none other than the state of the israel State of the Israel is the one who committed itself against me, who committed itself to the genocide against me. And they did so on behalf of British. British royals are the ones that they were desperate for me to distance, to distance me as far and as much as possible from the issues involving my father, grandfather, and my grandmother. Just so you know. Uh, so this is just a little short video. It's disgusting. But this is what the Israeli state is. This is what Israeli nation is. Uh, I am not going to let you free. I am not going to let you go. I will not, never going to let you go. You're never going to get away with your Schindler's List. The world will know what you did. The world will recognize. The world will acknowledge you for what you are. The Schindler List movie 
was based on the story of my grandfather and it was stolen by the Jews to misrepresent, to screw me up as much as possible for the sake of the Putin, for the sake of the war you see today in Ukraine, for the sake of the British, for the sake of the royals which cooperated with the neo-Nazis during the World War II.